this is Massimo and in this video I'm gonna talk about three usages of the RGB matrix function. So the most straightforward usage is by using RGB panels or basically LED strips. So I'm gonna switch to the front view and then I have a um, special uh, fixture which is uh, the generic RGB panel that has all these properties for creation. So basically this is the mapping of a panel um, or LED strips or LED bar as long as the component mapping is one of these uh, listed here. So I'm going to create one on universe 3 in size 30 by 20 and also the physical size I want it like 3 meters by 2 meters. I can also adjust the parameters where the um, basically the strip start and the, the displacement of the bars or the, the strips and the orientation. Once I am happy with all the parameters, I can drag and drop it to my scene as all the fixtures. And QSC Plus will create automatically a um, um, group for me, a fixture group. So I can basically drag the uh, uh, panel in the exact position that I want. And also it created uh, all the uh, basically rows like this and dynamically creates also all the necessary universes for um, to map the each individual row. Um, so it's a lot of addresses used now. So uh, now that I have my panel, I can also preview it in 3D like this. Um, I can create an RGB matrix. Uh, the first thing to set is the fixture group where you want the matrix to act. So I'm going to select the RGB panel and I will adjust the speed of the step duration basically like this. And if I hit preview, I already have a result like this. Uh, very simple because the default pattern is uh, stripes. By default, is this one is selected. I can give it like a fade uh, transition like this. But I also uh, can play around with a lot of pat patterns um, provided by QSC Plus by default. So for example, I don't know, something like this or um, yeah you can you can play around with them some of them are quite complex like the plasma effect where you can have presets and you have parameters to to adjust the um, features or the the behavior of each pattern uh, you have for, for example the gradient um, preset like this and you have a lot of parameters that you can adjust also the, the order and direction here, uh, like chasers. Um, but once you are happy about the, basically the result, um, you can, you can achieve a lot of different uh, effects uh, with RGB matrix. So this is basically the very uh, straightforward usage of uh, this function but let's see how to integrate it with uh, um, for example um, other type of fixtures so the second usage of um, an RGB matrix is basically on traditional uh, fixtures I have my pars here if you remember I have this par group and I can create an RGB matrix for my part group uh, again I can adjust the speed like to 200 milliseconds and if I play this function it's already running on my parts but since they have a dimmer I will have to raise the dimmer like this so this is another uh, pretty straightforward usage of uh, uh, an RGB matrix if you have um, RGB fixtures so they can be static fixtures or moving heads but basically this is another usage again you can play around with all the uh, all the functions the presets you have here um, 
it's up to you how to tweak all the parameters, the colors and so on. You will have to spend a little bit of time um, to um, learn how each pattern works and which one is the most appropriate for the effect you want to achieve. So you have really a lot of uh, different um, uh, patterns. So this is another usage, again, pretty straightforward on RGB fixtures. The third and last one is another way to control fixture parameters, again, with RGB matrix. So let's create another one. Um, I'm going to associate it to a group that I created where all my moving heads on uh, all around the stage are in a linear group like this. Again, I will adjust the uh, step time like this, just to give it a more um, more speed. And instead of um, controlling RGB channels, I will control dimmer channels this time. Um, with the color set, I can also choose uh, the intensity of the dimmer, for example, where uh, white is the full intensity, and then I can adjust it uh, here with uh, basically a grayscale color. Um, so if I play this one, it will basically raise the dimmer of my fixtures. So I have in my old group, I have this uh, position, center position uh, seen, shutter open, all yellow, and then my newly create RGB matrix, and the effect will be this one. So if I want to play around, for example, with random single like this, I will have an effect like this. Because basically my matrix is acting on uh, just the dimmer channel and all the rest is uh, controlled by, is set by other scenes. Um, as we've seen before, I can create a collection for this. So basically if I run my collection, I'm all set. And this is another way of uh, using RGB matrix uh, not on RGB channels. And this is, uh, this can be another uh, quite useful way of using it. So basically, um, this is it for RGB matrix. Um, you need to spend some time to play around with all the parameters, but basically the usage is this. Uh, if you want to achieve animations on RGB channels or other properties of your fixtures. So thanks for watching and ciao!